Good afternoon. Today is April 23rd, 2022. I wanted to share a couple of quick thoughts on labeling um, because maybe you would find it helpful. This is one of the things that I've come up with recently and um, it's, it's sort of like the best thing that I found. So before uh, I've tried a few things. This was one of the things, using this duct tape to mark the pots. Um, but now I started doing this last year. I just use one of these Sharpie paint markers. This is oil paint. Where does it say that? Oil based right there. This is my old art supplies. And um, these little guys here we're all volunteers. These are little volunteer sunflowers from one of the planters I had last year. I have no idea what kind they are, so I'm just going to write mystery sun. I know what they are. Um, I don't know what they are, but I do know they're sunflowers. But just to give you a little quick illustration, um, these come in a thinner point too, so you can write it really neat and tidy. Um, there we go. It was a little on the dry side, but if you push down a little, you'll get more. You'll get more of the, the paint come out. And um, I've tried doing stick labels like the popsicle sticks and the plastic sticks. I don't like the plastic sticks because they're plastic. I don't like the popsicle sticks because um, the ink fades, I found the ink fades. And also um, I have had trays get knocked over and it's fine if they're all the same thing, but when you have a lot of different items or a lot of different plants all coming up on one tray and it knocks over, if you don't have each pot individually labeled, it's a guessing game after that. So I like doing it this way now, writing right on the pot. And um, so like last year I used these nice neon orange and this bright blue. Um, there's also, I mean, there's a lot of different colors. I'm not getting sponsored by Sharpie. Um, so whatever, but I wanted to do yellow too, because yellow is um, maybe yellow just for the veg and then pink just for the flowers. But at this point, um, I'm doing mostly direct sewing, so I won't have a ton to label, but I heard a conversation on one of the gardening podcasts the other day about people talking about their favorite ways to label and um, other than maybe the copper tag labels where you like sort of engrave it, I think this is, I think this is the best, at least that I found. Um, yeah, and then the duct tape was helpful. The duct tape worked, but it's just not cute. And, uh, yeah, so, and if you reuse your pots, pots, which ideally you will, um, you can just use another color the next year. So you could erase that out or whatever. You get the idea. I'm sure you get the idea. And... That's it. Lots of really exciting things coming up um, in the garden this year. I'm just so ready and um, I hope you'll join me and I hope you'll be able to enjoy some of this gorgeous, gorgeous, um, you know, backyard beauty. So I'm guessing, I'm, I'm sort of, I'm looking at these now and these were all together. I'm thinking, well, it's definitely a blend because it has one of these in here. This one with the darker edges, the darker under, under leaf, whatever you want to call it. That one, those usually were the um, evening blend types or, yeah, some of the more red varieties of the sunflower. So that still doesn't really help me. I still don't know. These could be mammoth or they could be, they could be more of the florist blend. I don't even know how they got into that container. They could be bird seed. 
um, but that got knocked over. I'm not sure. So never a dull moment in the backyard garden. And uh, so that's it for now. Hope you had a really nice Earth Day. Um, if you're gardening, you know every day is Earth Day. But if you're not, if you're not gardening, it's not too late to start. And uh, yeah, happy healthy gardening. <laughs>